hey soldiers i am back thank you again for watching for sharing the videos for commenting and all the letters that i've been receiving and all the emails you guys have been amazing thank you for joining the movement and spreading the word i am so so grateful and i hope you enjoyed last week's episode i did i really did it helped me um so this week i'm i'm kind of excited because today's video is let me say let me not say controversial let me say a conversation starter it will spark off a lot of debates people will talk about it people will argue with themselves with me and i know what i'm expecting but i'm ready because it's how i feel and it's what i have read in my bible so some time ago i was in a skype conversation with a group of people and some lady who was supposed to be a speaker and all of that she she said something and when i disagreed with what she said it just sparked off a, a, another conversation and uh, the thing the reason we're talking just changed and everything just went from that particular topic to what i said no i don't agree to so in her in her speech when we were doing the skype call she said something like um yeah yeah we are all women and you know even uh, different people have written books on it and we've, we've we've done speaking engagements on it every woman should be a woman but think like a man you have to think like a man and think like a man and i said i'm sorry i don't agree and everybody went quiet they were like really why what no but that's a principle that's what people are teaching self-help authors different people are saying think like a man think like a man i'm like and you have to be clear what you mean by think like a man because when you say stuff like think like a man and you don't explain further people will take it that you are born a woman you go through what you go through in life but at the end of the day your major goal to be successful is for you to think like a man why would you say to me a fully grown woman that for me to be successful i have to think like a man so i asked them this question i said when women get up every day and fight for equality and fight for their rights and fight for this and fight for that, it seems to kids, it seems to the opposite sex that we have, it's, it's a competition. We're in competition. Because when you say equality, equality with who? It's between the man and the woman. Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's, let's face it. Equality with who? Other women? No. Children? No. It's equality with the man, right? So if you say you want to be equals, with a man but in the same breath you are saying as a woman you should think like a man it means you're really admitting and saying that the man is more intelligent the man is the one that has what it takes to be successful the man is the one that can run a business the man is the one that can do finances and accounting and, 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 and no I refuse to accept that and that is the reason why most of us women don't think that we're strong enough that we're smart enough that we're good enough that we're intelligent enough why are we doing soldier in red lipstick? Because we've realized that as women, we can be soldiers in the Lord's army. Just like women get enlisted to fight in the army. That's it. I mean, I will not raise my daughters to, to, to think like a man. Now, are there attributes that men have that is good to actually observe and emulate? Yes. Because when it comes to business and, and, and their work and professionalism and all of that, a lot of men have this thing of, I'm focused. I don't care what it is I'm gonna focus on what I'm doing women tend to be more emotional we are more biased and all of that some traces or some traits sorry some traits that men have you can actually observe learn from it and move on but I will not say think like a man why I'm a woman I was created and raised as a woman I was created with my own responsibilities and everything I'm saying I'm saying it based on the Bible the book of Genesis when God created Adam and Eve from the time that everything was good until the time they fell until the time they committed their crime against God and when God punished them and said this is what will happen man you will do this and be this to the woman woman you will do this and be this to the man now, I'm not talking about marriage now I'm talking about normal human lives we have our responsibilities as women we have the things that we're supposed to do things that we're supposed to know in the modern day world what are we supposed to be doing as women will i say as a woman because we, the bible says do this and do that i will not run a business no i'm a businesswoman i'm an entrepreneur will i say because i'm a woman i cannot do the things i'm supposed to do i multitask i do that very easily and very well will i say because of a woman i can't be successful no i can be successful and I don't have to think like a man. Oh, how is the man thinking now? I want to think like him to get what I want to get. No, 
I want to think like me. I want to think like the intelligent, beautiful, smart me that I was born to be. I want to be a woman. I want to succeed as a woman. I want to plan as a woman. I want to do my business as a woman. I'm not fighting to be equals with anyone. I am not comparing myself. Neither am I competing. If there's a problem with paying somebody of a different gender as a certain amount of money that's higher than mine and I don't like it, I will set up my own business. I will sell something. I will become industrious. I will learn to work with my hands so that I become independent. I will make my own money. I will create a business that will make me the boss so that I can employ the other person and be the one to pay the other person and be the one to call the shots. Why not? I don't have to think like anybody else to be who I am. I don't have to compare myself to anybody. God has created us for a reason. We nurture, we are vessels, we are supporters, we are encouragers, but we are also successful because some, some videos ago I talked about women who followed Jesus, Mary Magdalene and some other people who supported Jesus and his disciples, who went on tour with Jesus and his disciples and who brought out resources from their own resources and took care of them. They took money from their resources, meaning that they were making money from something. They belonged to a tribe that were known for something. And they were making enough resources to follow Jesus and his disciples and support them and take care of them. So if those women could do that, why not us? Did they have to think like Jesus and the disciples? No. Why? They had their own roles and their responsibilities. They knew who they were. They knew what they were called to do and who they were called to be. And today we talk about them because they, are, they, they did what they were supposed to do. They are, in, they are in the history. You cannot talk about Jesus and his disciples are moving from place to place without remembering that there were women that went with them. You cannot talk about the resurrection of Christ without remembering that the first person that he actually visited and, and allowed to see him after he resurrected was a woman. <laughs> so I don't have to think like a man for me to be who I want to be, who I am called to be. And we should stop confusing people because when we include people and say, let's fight together, let's fight for equality, let's fight. We have to, when you're fighting and fighting, but you want to think like them, it means that you believe, you already know, and you have accepted the fact that they're smarter, they're more intelligent, they're this, they're that. No, men are smart, men are firm, men are shrewd in their business. Men are strong, but guess what? Women are shrewd too. Women can be smart, women can be intelligent, and women can run successful businesses as we have seen in the world today. When you count the five most successful, most influential, and wealthiest people in the world, one of them is a woman. In the world, one of them is a woman. And guess what? She's actually African. Yes, I did my research. She is actually African, so it is possible. Oprah Winfrey is possible. Yes, she's possible. These people are possible. So why not? Why can't I think like me? Why can't I think like a woman and aspire to be intelligent? Why can't I think like me and aspire to be who I want to be and what I want to be? So no, I will not think like a man. Will I borrow from his attributes and know that, oh, this works, this works fine? But will I think like him? No. I'll think like me. And I will encourage you to think like you. There's no need for the competition. There's no need to compare yourself with a man. You're not the same. He's man. You're a woman. We are not the same. So whilst you stew in that and, and think about it and argue and, and start up your conversations, I'll take a break, but I'll be right back. Ha! 
how you filled me with the Holy Ghost, how you healed me to the uttermost when I think about your Lord, how you picked me up and turned me around, how you placed my feet on solid I am not a man, clearly. From his rib, God created me a woman. Not one to make mistakes, there is a reason why he did not create another man. Born of his bones, flesh of his flesh, yet he didn't call me Adam, he called me Eve. For I was taken out of him, not to become him, but to be of him to fulfill me. He laced me with grace and said after me he will chase, that I am his glory. So why am I trying to trade my title like a queen begging for bread? I am complete in who I am. I trust my maker that he is no faker. He did not make me a copy. I am an original. I am a woman satisfied in my gender. He that findeth me finds a good thing and obtains favor. So what is the essence of the finding if there was nothing missing in the first place? I am a woman, the daughter of Zion. I have enough things to think about. Like a man is surely not one of them. Welcome back. And I know that a lot of you have thought about it. You've argued and you said, oh, what's she talking about? Some people have actually said, hmm, maybe she's making sense or whatever it is. You have to make up your own mind. Find your own opinion. Think about what I've said. Go back to the Bible because remember, whatever we do in Soldier and Red Lipstick is based on the word of God, not on the word of man, not in different books that other people have written or what they've said or their own thoughts because people come up with their own school of thoughts and they write their own book. Other people read it and believe, oh, because it's written inside a book, it must be it. The book that I depend on for everything, if I have doubts, is the Bible. And I'm basing, everything I'm saying is based on the word of God. So I would encourage you to read, read and read it again and underline all those things that jump at you in the book of Genesis when it talks about man and woman. Okay, so thanks to Sumter Speaks for her spoken word. Thank you, Romer, for doing this episode, for joining me every week and doing this for me and making it possible. And to Stacy and to all the other ladies out there who have joined the movement and who are helping us one way or the other. God bless you guys. So let's just say a quick prayer. Thank you, Father, for today. I just bless your holy name. Um, there's really not much I want to say, but to say thank you for wisdom, for understanding. Um, thank you for my fellow soldiers, my sisters all over the world who love you, who call on your name. Help us to remember who we are and whose we are. Help us to remember the reason we were created. Help us to find our purpose, oh God. Let us know who we are, why we are where we are, what times we are in, and what we're supposed to be doing. And let us let go of all the fights and all the argument and all the uh, comparison and the com competition and all of that. We don't need that. It is, this is not the time to compete or to fight or to compare or to get angry. This is the time to come together, unite and find ways that we can, we can advance your word, your kingdom, and we'll prepare for the second coming of Christ because the end times are here. So we thank you, O oh God, for, for your hand upon our lives, for our families, for our businesses, for every woman out there who is trying and struggling to do something with her life, to start a business, for every woman who's working with someone or under someone, help her to realize that the person who's paying her is not really her boss, that you, Lord, you are her ultimate boss. You are our ultimate boss. And help us to remember that wherever we are is not our permanent position, Lord, that you will continue to help us grow and, and increase us, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, and your favor. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. Remember to share, share, share the video, comment, talk to your friends about it. If you've not joined the movement, join the movement. God bless you guys. I'll see you again.